So I wanted to come along here ever so often as we're going through this study and give you just a, a little bit of extra material that I don't have time, it doesn't really fit on a Sunday morning. This is one of those examples. This may or may not happen every week, um, but but we wanted to do it for today. So as you're reading along through the book of Acts in the life of Paul, another good historical uh, document to look at is the book of Galatians. And you have to sync those two books up together. We use that as a, as a means to find out how, when Paul was converted, that video came out uh, several months ago. Uh, we'll post it again uh, in, in short time so you can see that, the link to that. Uh, but you have to do it again with this section that we're in right now. So as we're going along through the, the story of Paul, you come to his first missionary journey. That's in Acts chapter 13 and 14. We covered that uh, last week. And then starting in, in chapter 15, you see Peter and Paul having a, a real conflict. And you see that in chapter 15, but you also see it in Galatians. And it's a little confusing of when it all uh, lines up. And, and to be honest, I spent an embarrassing amount of time trying to figure out exactly how these two line up. And so I thought if it's confusing to me, maybe it's confusing to others. If not, just shut this video off and, and go on. Uh, but in chapter 15, verse 1, it says certain people came down from Judea to Antioch and were teaching the believers, unless you're circumcised according to the customs taught by Moses, you cannot be saved. This brought Paul and Barnabas into sharp dispute and debate with them, this group from Jerusalem. And so Paul and Barnabas were appointed along with the other believers to go up to Jerusalem to see the apostles and elders about this question. So you see that that uh, description in the same context as Galatians chapter 2, verse 11, where it mentions Peter specifically. Luke doesn't include Peter's name, but he was kind of the leader of that group. Galatians 2.11 says, When Cephas, or Peter, came to Antioch, I opposed him to his face because he stood condemned. For before certain men came from James, he used to eat with Gentiles, but when they arrived, he began to draw back and separate himself from the Gentiles because he was afraid of those who belonged to the circumcision group. So you see Peter and Paul in this massive conflict together. Luke, to protect Peter, I think a little bit, kind of pulls back from being specific about that. Galatians tells us exactly who it was. So that was in Acts chapter 15, verses 1 and 2, Galatians chapter 2, 11 through 21. Then we see the Jerusalem Council. That was the message from Sunday. And the last part of, of Acts chapter 15 goes on to the second missionary journey. We'll cover that next week, Acts 15, 36 through chapter 18. And in the middle here is when Paul writes Galatians. So he writes about this conflict. So he went on this first missionary journey to Galatia, came back, had this conflict with Peter um, in Antioch that he writes to the Galatians about before the Jerusalem Council. So in the book of Galatians, you don't see the results of the Jerusalem Council. You just see they had the conflict. And so that, to me, was a little confusing how that went together. I thought it's confusing to me, maybe confusing to others, um, but, but Sunday didn't seem like the place for that. Therefore, the extra credit. So first missionary journey, Paul and Peter have a conflict. You see it in those two passages he writes the book of Galatians, and he has Jerusalem Council and Second Missionary Journey. Hope that helps.